Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have something really neat for you today. This is the DJI Rise Tello. And yes, I'm saying DJI. DJI was involved in the development of this, no matter what people say. So I'm keeping DJI in the title, uh, even though Rise is producing it. Uh, what is special about this particular quadcopter is that it has optical IR position hold. Okay, that's one of the things that's special about it. There's actually quite a few, but uh, let me go into detail on this. Uh, it is infrared, or actually these are the infrared uh, sensors, and optical. And what these do is, this particular sensor here holds the quadcopter in space, looking down at the ground, and maintains its position just using looking down, you know, just looking down at the ground. Additionally, you've got these 3D optical IR sensors. These also do the same thing, but also in addition to that, they enable the, since there's two of them, it has a stereoscopic view of the ground so it can actually tell if you're going up or down a bit. So that helps smooth out the stability of the uh, altitude hold in addition to the barometer. So, you know, that, and it does. It actually, I've, in flights at home, this, I was amazed at how steady this is. You know, it holds it steadier than I can hold it, you know, with my hands, with my coffee shakes. So it's a very good uh, sensor system to maintain stability of the quadcopter in space. In addition to that, it has a 720p 5 me megapixel IR camera. Very good camera, um, again, I, based on what I've seen at home. Right next to the camera is a, this little LED light here that tells you the status of the quadcopter. Um, it's a status indicator. Um, other things on this, uh, this has an Intel processor on board. Uh, that enables very fast computations, mainly for two things for doing the stability calculations so that this can react very quickly to help maintain its position in space and also for electronic image stabilization from the camera. I swear the video from this looks better than a gimbal and it's very smooth video coming from this thing. So, I'm, you know, I was kind of surprised, uh, shocked actually how stable this is, especially since this is a 720p camera. To tell you the truth, folks, I think this might be actually be a larger sensor in here than 720p and um, they're giving you the end result of the video is 720p stabilized. I'm, I'm thinking it might be actually be 1080p sensor on board there, but I can't confirm that. Um, other things on board, uh, we have a 3.8 volt, 1000 milliamp hour battery. It is a proprietary battery uh, for this particular quadcopter. It is charged by placing, you know, inserting it into the quadcopter and then using a micro USB uh, cable you know, your standard uh, phone charging cable to charge the quadcopter. This does not come with a separate charger, although I hear that separate chargers are available for um, charging multiple batteries if you wish to do such. Um, one thing about this, or actually there are a couple things about this, negative points <laughs> some might consider, in that first off we have what appear to be 8520 brushed motors. You know, I measured, it was 8.5 millimeter diameter, I'm assuming 20 millimeter um, 8.5 millimeter diameter, 20 millimeter length, but uh, again, they're brushed motors. They will wear out eventually, folks. Keep that in mind. And in addition to that, uh, they are a little bit proprietary in that they're the wires that are included are very micro thin wires. There's there they are in there. There's the black one. There's the white ones underneath it there that run into there. Uh, in it, what that, I'm trying to say with these micro thin wires. These would be very hard to splice if you want to do splicing to uh, replace the uh, motor when it does wear out. Uh, you're going to need to go in inside here. I don't know if they are plug-in or if they are soldered because I haven't opened it up to see and I don't plan to open it up until one of these burns out. And I've looked on uh, the forums and I haven't seen anybody open one of these up from the bottom here yet to see if they are plug-in or splice. But if they are or plug-in or uh, soldered, if but if they are soldered, they you know, that's a negative point in my opinion because that's going to be somewhat difficult to change one of these motors. In addition to that, notice there is no SD card slot. You know, this video, the video from this quadcopter is sent to your phone via Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So because of that, you know, even though the video is very good quality, you still get the usual expected Wi-Fi stutter, lag, uh, frame dropping, you know, that's inherent with Wi-Fi, so it, it occurs. Uh, if you fly this, I recommend you keep it very close, and that will reduce uh, any other occurrence of Wi-Fi stutter. Um, other things about it, it is run via the 
v, uh, the Tello app available on Play and iTunes. Uh, one thing I heard about this, you know, I'm running the Android version on my phone. I haven't had any problems, but since this is a DJI product, DJI seems to favor iPhones and iPads, Apple products in particular. I, I don't know if they have some kind of partnership with them for that reason or not, but uh, when you try to run Android uh, app, you know, the Android versions of their apps, it usually has problems. Some people usually have problems. But again, I have not had any particular problem running the Tello app. Uh, I do make sure that I shut all non-essential apps when I do run this on my phone. Uh, that will help. Make sure you, <laughs> you know, don't have any background apps and maybe that will reduce the occurrence of problems that people have been seeing. But with that app, it has intelligent flight modes uh, of bounce, where it'll bounce up and down. I don't know what the good of that is. It also has 8D flips, so I, you can go in any of the cardinal directions, forward, diagonally, or sideways, it will flip. Keeping in mind, though, that this is a brushed motor quadcopter, I do not recommend doing flips with it. Okay, flips burn out brushed motors. I'll say that again. Flips burn out brushed motors. Don't do that. Maybe do one or two just to verify that the Tello can do such. But remember, this Tello is not meant as a uh, acrobatic or aerobatic quadcopter. It is meant for, as a selfie drone. Minimize those flips and you should have less problems with those motors. Also, when you land, make sure you don't land in a field with high grass uh, or any obstructions that will um, stop these motors while they are turning under power. That will also increase the life of your motors. Other thing, other flight mode it's got is throw and go, where you can simply toss it in the air and it will take off. I, will, I like that. <laughs> I like hand tosses and I hand, like hand launches. Uh, that, again, help, uh, minimizes the chance of you landing on the ground in something that uh, will obstruct the motors. It also has easy, easy shot modes where it will automatically do somewhat of a stunt while taking a video. Uh, these include 360 where it will rotate around. Uh, 360 degrees panning of the area in video shots. It will also has circle me mode. Now this is, I find, hard to believe that this can do such because since there's no GPS in here, but apparently it can circle a position. 200, 360 degree turnaround a position. Now the accuracy of that is probably going to decrease if there's any wind effects, but and mainly because, again, this does not have a GPS on board, so, uh, you know, I don't know how well that 360 degree circle is going to work, but we'll find out. Circle me move. Uh, it also has up and away. Now, I like up and away. Up and away is you put the quadcopter here and it flies up and outboard from your position, um, providing a pretty neat, you know, what we would call, or what people would call in the film world, a crane shot. <laughs> so that's neat. Uh, finally, it does have telemetry via the app, basic telemetry of battery power, uh, altitude, and speed. That's another thing I don't know how it calculates, but apparently it does. And finally, via the app, you can also control this with a Bluetooth gamepad if you wish. Now, that's another negative. I would not use a Bluetooth <laughs> gamepad with this because Bluetooth operates on 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, if you're going to be flying this with a gamepad, I guarantee that 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth is going to, going to interfere with the Wi-Fi, creating a lot of lag and a lot of Wi-Fi stuttering. So I do not recommend the gamepad. I don't know if people have tried that or not out there yet, but I think they will probably confirm that, <laughs> that prediction. Well, uh, let's go uh, over the, real quick. This does also come with prop guards. Here's the box. I did not include the prop guard since I fly outdoors mainly. You don't need prop guard. Prop guards are good indoors, you know, to protect the propellers, but if you're flying in an open area, I don't recommend including the prop guards. Mainly you'll get more flight time out of the thing, out of the quadcopter um, if you don't have these on here and better flight performance. And finally, before we start up, see? It says DJI. There's no mention of rise on this, so <laughs> let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Okay, to start up this quadcopter, we press this one button here on the side here and hold it for about three seconds. And we should see a blinking status light telling us that it is powering up. Let me confirm that. Yeah. And I'm going to place the quadcopter there, pointing it down in that direction. And then I will open up the Tello app. Okay, this is the DJI Tello app. <laughs> Rise Tello or DJI Tello. I'm sure D DJI had a lot in... Uh, of involvement in development of this app, so 
called a DJI app. <laughs> but uh, before I opened this app, I first made sure that my phone was connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal coming from the quadcopter. Now we notice uh, in the upper left corner we have automatic takeoff button. Uh, we have the uh, flight modes button, is the second one there, where we have 360 degree up and out or throw and go. Also, these are the easy shot modes of actually flips, circle, and bots modes. These are all the flight modes. But uh, 360 degree up and out are uh, the uh, video modes that will record video. Um, notice that this does not have, and I, I'm kind of surprised, does not have a follow me vote mode. So um, hopefully in the future they'll include a follow me, but it does not have follow me currently available. So let's back out of that. Uh, let's go into the settings. Under settings, we have a lot of uh, different uh, controls that we can set. We can set this to fly slow or fast. We're gonna fly slow since we don't have much uh, wind today. We can fly this in VR mode, I guess with goggles. I would not do such that. <laughs> You know, if people want to use their gamepad, that would be the only way you could do that, is to fly that with goggles uh, with a gamepad. But again, I would not recommend doing such, especially since this is a Wi-Fi quadcopter. We have Bluetooth joystick settings. Again, I'm not flying this with Bluetooth or gamepad controller. Come out of that. And we have Wi-Fi settings. And the Wi-Fi name is Tello and password. There is no password right now, although you can set a password backing out of that and finally under more we got a lot of settings we got the beginner's guide we click at and it shows you what the different settings of the quadcopter do and what they mean uh, metric system we're going to be using metric photo quality I'm going to keep it normal keep the data stream down although you can set the photos to very high quality uh, low battery warning is set to 20 percent we are going to be flying in joystick mode 2 uh ev i'm setting to zero i'm i don't want to well you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness but i am going to keep it try to keep it right at zero for today and the bit rate i'm going to keep that at auto too although you can uh, manually set it um, if you do have problems well if you leave it automatic it should <laughs> detect any problems in the data stream to and adjust accordingly and finally on the right we have our photo and video settings we can play videos that are already recorded I'm not going to do such <laughs> and we can take uh, photos by pressing that photo button there or switching between photo and video mode by pressing that camera I mean okay right now we're in photo mode and we're gonna switch to video mode and we're gonna do a normal takeoff first by hitting the automatic takeoff button in the upper left and sliding to take off and the quadcopter should take to the air. And let's see how well it holds its position. Holds it very well. Let me go up a little bit higher. And come down a little bit lower, right to about my eye level. And let's go up and look at it. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and show how, how well this holds its position. Very well, <laughs> surprisingly well. Okay, and again, you know, that's based on its 3D sensor. Let's put my hand under it and see if that, if I can get it to move with my hand. No, no, it detects it's a moving object, I guess, and adjusts accordingly. Okay, let's land it now. I'm going to do a landing, and I want to do a hand landing. I'm going to select hand landing and hit confirm, and then put my hand underneath the quadcopter. Once it detects my hand, it will land. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, let's do a takeoff and hit cancel. What I want to do is an, a, a toss, a throw and go. Let's do that throw and go. Throw, tap the icon above and the propellers will begin rotating slowly and then you toss it. So hitting the icon and there we go. Throw and go <laughs> and hand landing. Confirm, hand underneath. and land. Okay, one more time, hand toss, throw and go, and hitting the icon, and there we go. Okay, now let's try uh, up and out. Let me go a little bit higher, right there, and let's go into that automatic flight mode, and up and out. 
takes a short video while going up and on. Hit yes. And it's automatically recording. You don't have to hit the record button for up and out. Hello or goodbye. <laughs> and notice we lost video. Well, the signal stopped <laughs> at that point. Now, from up there, let's go back to the flight modes again. And let's try uh, circle me. I am interested in this one. Record a video while circling. Confirm that you're flying. Hit yes. And it's recording. And it's going to about a position uh, right about here, I guess. Let's come down a little lower. Oh, you can't adjust the, the altitude while it's doing its circle. So let's cancel it right there. Let's come down a little lower. Get in the picture this time. Hit circle me again. And confirm yes. And there it goes around my position. <laughs> I don't trust it. I'm keeping my eyes on it as it going as we go around. But I'm not doing anything. It's it's actually doing it, but it's a very small circle. Very small circle, so I guess that's cool. Let's see if it automatically stops itself. And there we go. It automatically stopped itself. Okay, going back into the flight modes, uh, we also have circle pan. And if you hit that button there, it will circle its position. Or, it's the wrong one, sorry. Stopping that one. 360 is the one I want. Where are you, 360? 360 is right there. And it's going to record a video this time while circling or doing a pan, a very slow pan. And of course, I want to get in the picture. I better hurry up. <laughs> so again, this is a selfie quadcopter. I want to be in the selfies. And there we go. Okay, going back into the modes, what haven't we tried yet? We did the throw and go. We haven't done the bounce mode. Hitting bounce mode. It'll automatically fly up and down within a one half to 1.2 meters on a flat surface. Hit yes. And I'm hitting record too. Now why you would want to do this? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> but it can do it. Yeah, let's stop that. And going back up higher. Have we missed anything? Bounce, 360, we did circle up and out. We did throw and go. Flips, okay, we'll do a flip. One and only flip. Let me record while we're doing this. Tapping the screen, yes. And let's do a forward flip. Oh, I guess you gotta tap the screen in that circle. And side flip. And a back flip. Uh, didn't do a back flip. It's all doing forward flips, but I don't care. I'm coming out of flips. That's the end of flips. <laughs> Again, flipping this quadcopter, you're likely going to damage its motors. Okay, um, let me make sure I am recording. Hold on. Three, two, one. Okay, I confirmed that I was still recording um, Mobazin, but uh, before we go do anything further, now let's just go up manually, go up high. Going up to about that altitude there, and then going back into uh, flight modes. Hold on, let me come out of that. Weak Wi-Fi signal, but from up there we're going to do the 360 again. And starting the recording. Okay, so you can do this. Again, I'm getting a weak Wi-Fi signal because I'm about, uh, how high am I? 3.6 meters up. <laughs> That's too high for it. But it's recording. I'm doing its 360 pan. And from up there, let's do a landing. And it's video, 
recording. I want to record while it comes down. But let's do an automatic landing, an auto landing. And it's coming down on its own. And it slows down when it gets closer to the ground. And actually, I think you can actually catch it that way too for a hand landing, just hitting the auto landing. Okay, so, so far this has been pretty cool. Uh, now, let's try it over by the trees. The reason being, I want to fly around the trees a bit. You know, I'm out in the middle of an open field. And that's probably getting a little bit boring. Let's get closer to these trees. And I'm going to do a hand toss again and up and out. So while we're walking over there, let me select flight modes. And throw and go. Now with throw and go, you should check on the front of the quadcopter. There's a blinking light. It should turn, uh, It's right now it's blinking orange. But if we hit throw and go and hit confirm, that light should change to, well, it stayed the same, but the motors are rotating. But there's a throw and go launch. Now I'm still recording. Let me stop the recording and restart it. And wave high just so I can synchronize the video. And we're gonna turn the quadcopter and just fly it using the joysticks. Going out bond, turning, back to my position. I'm going up a little bit higher and then flying forward. <laughs> Neat, huh? Very smooth flyer. Very, very smooth flyer. So, you know, this the sensor system is uh, designed <laughs> to maintain both the altitude and the image stabilization or the, in, the processor on board there. And it does a very good job of maintaining that altitude. Okay, that's its max speed in uh, low mode. Let's, let's bring it back toward us again. And we're going to fly it a little bit faster this time. I'm going to stop the video and go into settings. And under more, we are going to select... Uh, no, I guess it wasn't more. <laughs> Back out. Uh, flight speed. There it is. I missed it. Okay, fast flight speed. And hitting, closing more. Hitting recording again. And now let's see how fast it goes. Wow. I have to slow it down, actually, because it was going so fast. Let's turn it around. And bring it by me again. That thing can move. Let's turn it around here and we're going to go out in the field because of that. But it holds its altitude real well. How about turning? Wow. Can you, let me do some back turns. Yep. Surprisingly fast. And we're going to come back in. And turn it around, bring it back in again. And then let go of the stick. And it slows itself down pretty darn quickly. That probably burned up a lot of my, <laughs> it did burn up a lot of my fuel and <laughs> battery power. Let's stop the video there, bring it down. So the Tello, let me get turn it around this way. Uh, my thoughts on this thing. Well, I still got battery power. <laughs> it, here, record it, record my thoughts. <laughs> okay. My thoughts on this thing. It is a very nice little quadcopter. Um, you know, it, it does have brushed motors. I recommend being nice with those brushed motors. Minimize those spins. In fact, don't do spins. Or not spins, flips. That's just going to damage those motors. Um, it is. It does have lag, as you can see right now, and I'm seeing more lag right now because our battery power is getting low. That means the Wi-Fi probably means the Wi-Fi transmitter is getting weaker, so we're going to see some lag. Um, that is inherent with all 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, quadcopters. You just can't avoid that. You know, it would have been nice if they included an SD card 
a slot in there, an SD card reader and uh, writer, so that we could rec it could have recorded the video directly to a micro SD card. Uh, I think they'll probably include that in the future. That's kind of a necessary, in my opinion. Um, but the image stabilization is awesome. So that's telling me that it doesn't have a 720p sensor. It's actually got it. It has to have a larger sensor than 720p to do this type of stabilization because the way it does that is it crops along the edges you know of the it, it draws a, a smaller box inside the what the image sensor is seeing and then crops the along the edges to maintain position so it probably does have a lot much larger probably 1080p image sensor on board to do such uh, I haven't done any pictures yet let me do a couple pictures let me stop this video switch to photo mode I'm sorry, I got to demonstrate a photo. <laughs> Take another one. There's a little delay between shots as uh, it transmits that data to the phone. <laughs> but, you know, the, the image quality is pretty darn good. Five megapixel. And one more. Okay. 5 megapixel. Right now we're down to 14% battery. I'm going to call it quits here at this point here. Um, it, it's supposed to warn me at 20%. I don't remember seeing that, but we're going to land it now. And hand landing. Confirm. Putting my hand underneath, and it should descend into my hand. Pretty neat, huh? Keep your fingers open, or, you know, flat, or your, <laughs> your palm flat. Don't put your fingers up into the blades when you let do this because <laughs> those those blades will ding you but uh overall my thoughts on this pretty nice little quadcopter i kind of like it i'm going to keep this one this is a keeper for me so hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 quite wait record this quadcopter 101 signing out